Hi, I'm Miss Willard from Burns Elementary. I'm so happy you're here with me, first graders. Today, we're going to review some of the things we've learned for the past couple of weeks, and then we're going to do some more work with the magic E, focusing especially on what the magic E does to the letter U. I'm excited to work with you today. Remember that there are some things you should do daily as a first grade reader to get ready for second grade. You can always watch the alphabet chant video to review your letters and sounds. Read the decodable book for the week. Practice your high frequency word lists. Read for 20 minutes and complete a reading log entry. And practice your handwriting. You can use letters A to Z, high frequency words, CVCE words, and some short and simple sentences. Let's begin with our daily routines to review what we've already learned. Let's start by reviewing our high frequency words. This first word plays fair, which means we can sound it out. N, E, X, T. When you blend it together, this is the word next. Read this word to somebody in the room with you. This high frequency word also plays fair. Do you see how it has a magic E at the end? This is the word make. Read the word with me. Make. Now read the word to somebody in the room with you. Good job. Here's another high frequency word that plays fair. You see how there's no magic E, but we have the twin power with L after the short I? This is the word still. Read it with me. Still. Now read the word to somebody in the room with you. Still. This is the word says. Read it with me. Says. We see this word a lot in our decodable books. Read the word says to somebody in the room with you. This high frequency word is want. Read it with me, want. Now read the word to somebody in the room with you. This high frequency word is like. Read it with me, like. Now read the word like to somebody in the room with you. Good job. This high frequency word does not play fair. It looks like it has a magic E, but that E does not make the A say its name. This word is R. Read the word with me, R. Now read the word to somebody in the room with you, R. This high frequency word is they. Read it with me, they. Now read the word on your own. Read the word to somebody who's in the room with you, they. Now let's review some sounds that we've already learned. When there is a vowel and then a consonant and a letter E, the magic E gives its voice to the first vowel and that vowel says its long sound, it says its name. So this sound is A. Say it with me, A. Now say it on your own. Good. Let's do another one. This time, the magic E is giving its voice to the letter I. So the I will say, I. Say it with me, I. Now say it on your own. Say this sound to somebody in the room with you, I. What will happen with this sound? The magic E will give its voice to the letter O. So the O will say, O. Oh. Say the sound with me. O. Oh. Now say the sound to somebody in the room with you. O. Oh. Good job. When an S and an H are together, they make the sound SH. Say the sound with me. SH. Now say the sound on your own. Say the sound to somebody in the room with you. SH. Now let's practice reading words with sounds that we know. Look at this word. Just like last week, find the first vowel. I see the I and there's a K after it and then an E. So we know that the magic E will give its voice to the I and the I will say I. Let's read this word. B, I, K, bike, bike. The word is bike. 
read this word to somebody in the room with you. Let's do another one. Find the first vowel. You see how there's a consonant and then an E? The magic E will give its voice to the first vowel. Let's read it. K, A, V, cave. The word is cave. Read this word to somebody in the room with you. Good job. Look at this word. Do you see the magic E? The magic E will give its voice to the I, so we know that I will say I. Let's read it. Slide, slide, like I went down the slide at the park. Read the word slide to somebody in the room with you. Look at the word in this box. Do you see how there's a vowel and then a consonant and a magic E? The magic E will give its voice to the O, so the E will not make its own sound. Let's read it. N -o -t, note. Read the word note with me. Note. Now read the word to somebody in the room with you. Good job. Look at this word for a minute. Did you find the I with an N and a magic E? I also noticed that there's an SH at the beginning. And just like we already reviewed, SH together says shh. So this word is shine. Read the word shine with me. Shine. Now read the word on your own. Read the word to somebody who's in the room with you. Let's do one last practice word before we move on to the next part of our lesson. Take a look at it. You see it? Let's read it. Bone, bone. This word is bone. Read the word bone to somebody in the room with you. Now read it with me. Bone. Great job. As we move into our main part of our lesson today, let's look at our learning targets. The first one says, I can identify the long or short vowel sound in a one syllable word. That means when you hear the word, you're able to listen and find the vowel sound in the word. The next one says, I can explain why the vowel makes a long or short sound. So when we hear those words and we find those vowel sounds, you're able to understand and explain why the sound is a long vowel sound or a short vowel sound. Our last target says I can read CBC words that are changed into CBC E words by adding the magic E. And we know that magic E will give its voice to make the first vowel long. Let's see what word is in our vowel house today. Read the word. The word is fin. What vowel sound do you hear in the word fin? Tap it out to find it. F -i -n. We hear the sound I in fin. We know it's a short I sound because this is a CVC word. Now we've got a visitor coming to the house. What is that E going to do? The magic E gives its voice to the first vowel. It doesn't make its own sound. So now our word is fine. What vowel sound do you hear in the word fine? Tap it out to find it if you need to. I. N. We hear I in the word fine. The magic E gave its voice to the I, so the I said its name. Let's do another one. What's the word in our vowel house? It's a CVC word. It's pin. What vowel sound do you hear in the word pin? Tap it out if you need to, to find it. P -i -n. We hear I. The vowel sound is I. Now we've got a visitor coming to the house. Magic E will give its voice to the letter I. And now the word is pine, like a pine tree. What 
vowel sound do we hear in the word pine? Tap it out if you need to. I, n. We hear I in the word pine. Let's do just one more. Read the word in the vowel house. It's the word shin. What vowel sound do you hear in the word shin? Tap it out if you need to. We hear the sound i in shin, the short i sound. Now, a visitor's coming. The magic e will give its voice to the letter i. Now the word is shine. The e doesn't make its own sound. It gives its voice to the i. What vowel sound do we hear in the word shine? Tap it out if you need to. Sh I. Mm. The vowel sound is I. Before we go on to the next part of our lesson, I want you to pause the video in a moment and I want you to explain to somebody, how do you know when a vowel sound is going to be long or short? I'm going to say a word and I want you to say it with me afterwards. Pet. Say it with me, pet. How many vowel sounds do you hear in the word pet? We hear one vowel sound, pet. What is the vowel sound? Eh. We hear one short e. The word pet is a closed syllable word. That means there's a consonant after the vowel closing it in. If you look at the word list on the left, you might see pet and peat, which we already read. Well, in the next part of our lesson, we are going to become Magic E magicians. We are going to be reading CVC words and finding a Magic E at the end that will change the vowel sound. Paying close attention to this part is really gonna help you with your assignment today. We're going to begin just like we did last week by finding the vowel. In this first word, I see that the vowel is a letter U. It's followed by a consonant, the letter S, and there's no magic E, so the U will say, uh. This is the word, us. Now we've added a magic E. I'm gonna draw my dot under the first vowel. Now there's a magic E that will give its voice to the U, and the U will say, you. This word is use. Take a moment to look at this word. Find the vowel. Do you see the U? Our vowel is a U. And after the U, we have a B, which is a consonant. Do you see a magic E? There's no magic E, so the U will make its short sound, uh. This word is cub. If we add a magic E, we still have the U here as our first vowel, but now the magic E will give its voice to the letter U, and the U will say its name. The E will not make its own sound. Let's read this. K U B. Cube, cube, this is the word cube. Take a look at this word and find the vowel. Just like the last one, it's a letter U in a CVC word. There's no magic E, so the U will make a short sound, uh. Read the word, hug. Now I'm going to add a magic E. We still have our U here, but now there's an E that is going to give its voice to the U, and the U will say its name, U. Here's where it gets a little tricky. When there is an E after a letter G, that's when the G says J. So when I read this word, I'm going to read it U J because an E after a G usually makes the G say J. This is the word huge. Look at this first word. 
I see the U in the middle of a CVC word. So this U will make its short sound. There's no magic E. T -ub. Tub, like I take a bath in the tub. Now we add the magic E. I still have my U right here, but the E will give its voice to the U and the U will say its name. T -ube. Tube. Tube doesn't sound quite right, but tube. Sometimes with a long U, it sounds a little bit more like an OO sound. This is the word tube. Look at the first word. I see the U, and then I see it's followed by an M. There's no magic E. The consonant is closing in the vowel, so it will make its short sound. Uh, let's read the word. Plum, plum, a plum is a fruit. When we add the magic E, I still have my U here and it's still followed by an M, but now the E is there and the magic E can wave its wand and give its voice to the middle vowel. A long U can say U or sometimes oo, and in this word it says oo. This is the word plume. A plume is a special kind of feather on a bird. We're going to do one last word. Look at this word. Find that vowel. We have our U right in the middle of that CVC word. The U is closed in by a T afterwards and there's no magic E. So the U will make its short sound. Uh, read it with me. J, uh, t, jut. To jut means to stick out like a rock on a cliff might jut out. Now I've added the magic E. We still have our U, but now the magic E will wave its wand and give its voice to the letter U. Now it says J oot, jute. Jute is a material that's often used to make rope. It's time to go to work. It's time to go to work. It's time to practice what we learned. It's time to go to work. If you don't already have it, get your packet because I'm going to show you what to do today for your activity, week three, lesson 11. Now it's time to get to work on the assignment in your packet. You can see that it's a vowel house today. If you look in the roof of the vowel house, you'll find the directions. It says, add the magic E to each word to make the long vowel say its name. Write the new words on the lines to the right. So you'll read the word on the left, like this one, with a short vowel sound because there's no magic E. Then over here on the right, You'll write the word again, but you'll add the magic E to the end of the word. Then you read the new word with the long vowel sound. When you're done, make sure you read all the words to somebody who's in the house with you. We've done some great work today. Let's take a minute to reflect. What did you do today by watching this video, working in your packet, and any of the other work that you've done? What did you do today that is helping you become a more proficient reader? I'll see you next time. Thank you for learning with me today. I look forward to teaching you again soon. Remember that after you're done with the Vowel House activity, you should watch the Alphabet Chant video, read the Decodable Reader for the week, practice your high frequency words, read for 20 minutes and complete a reading log entry, and practice your handwriting with high frequency words, CVCE words, and short and simple sentences. Doing these things will keep you on track and ready for success in second grade.